the Matrix tell is much more than the main characters of the movies, much more than the prophecy of the One or the Machine War. There are also the tales of the Red Pills who wanted to save their loved ones, who were left trapped in the simulation. In this video, we will be talking about those soldiers who wanted to return to their loved ones and what they had to pay to do so. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Before starting this video, we invite you to visit and subscribe to our other channel, Hypnos Mirror. There we will be uploading videos of other series and movies like Cobra Kai, DC, Marvel, the philosophy behind Squid Games, and much more. The link is in the description below. The Matrix psychologically affects not only the people who are in it, but also those who escape. Those who are in the real world always remember their partners, family, and friends. The Matrix comic Saviors is one such tale. Hitch was a red pill who witnessed the traumatic event. Like any other red pill, he woke up in the real world to discover that he was now in the middle of a war. Hitch was appointed to a hovercraft, not an easy task to achieve, yet the man still wanted to save his parents. As we know, humans in the Matrix are created by the machines. The concept of family is only based on the experiences they live with each other in the simulation, because in the real world, they are not related by blood. Although Hitch knew that these people were not his real parents, he still loved them and decided to get them out of the Matrix. He got them out of the simulation, but both of them died from shock after waking up and seeing the horrors of the real world. This is what Morpheus warned Neo about. A person's brain gets stuck in the simulation. After a certain age, they cannot take the shock of seeing the truth. Hitch saw how his parents died, and the trauma led him to hate his crewmates and the real world. He desperately wanted to return to the Matrix, to his previous life. And so he did the unthinkable. He made a deal with the enemy. Hitch would betray his teammates in exchange for being reconnected to the simulation. He killed them, and Hitch was given his life back. He was reconnected to the Matrix, married, and with a new job as a CEO of a major corporation. This is a sad story of loss, betrayal, and selfishness. Our next tale is Eddie's a deleted story from the original movie that can be found in the Art of the Matrix book. Eddie was Neo's predecessor. Morpheus believed that he was the one. Eddie also had a girlfriend in the Matrix. Although he was already inaugurated in the Red Pills, he couldn't forget the woman he loved. One day he called her on the phone. She had been waiting for him for a long time to return, and so they agreed to meet. Eddie did not consult or inform his companions. He sneaked into the Matrix but was unfortunately caught by the agents. It was a trap. The agents had bunged the girlfriend's phone. Eddie's story did not end well. He never got to see his girlfriend again. The man died, being unplugged by Morpheus to prevent him from revealing important information about Zion to the agents. There is another story of a red pill who tried to reconnect with a family member still in the Matrix in the comic book, Morning Sickness. This story is of a woman rescuing a baby from the human fields. She rescues a baby but is caught by a sentinel. Later, the comic reveals that this was a training program. The woman was training to rescue children. Near the end of the comic, a little boy approaches her, asking if she had a nightmare. The boy called her mom. The woman was a mother inside the simulation, and she had to leave her child behind in the Matrix. She replies that everything is fine now because the child was with her. The woman did manage to rescue her child from the simulation. This is one of the very few stories with a happy ending. The woman was able to reunite with her son. Next, there is Jeff from the comic The Man Who Knew Too Much. The story is told from the perspective of Jeff's friend, Harold Hobbs. According to Hobbs, his friend Jeff was researching the Matrix on the internet and then disappeared. Sometime later, Jeff got in touch with Hobbs via text messaging through his computer. He told Hobbs about Morpheus and the simulation. Jeff became a red pill and was trying to help Hobbs wake up. This story is the only one that we know of where a red pill tries to save his friend from the Matrix. It seems that most red pills are conditioned to break all ties with their friends and family because as we saw with Eddie's story, this often ends badly. Hobbs was later visited and questioned by agents. They were looking for Jeff. Hobbs told them that he did not know where he was. Harold felt like someone was watching him ever since. Jeff then calls him on the phone and asks if he remembers when they were looking for answers about what the Matrix was. Now the Matrix was looking for him. Hobbs was assured that no one was watching him, but he did not believe it. 
he still felt eyes watching him. Harold's story ends with him being bombarded with questions and statements about the Matrix, and it is revealed that he is indeed being watched by agents. Jeff wanted to wake his friend up, but did not want to get him involved. Too late for that. And now, for the first time in a movie, The Matrix Resurrections touches on the theme of returning to the simulation to rescue a loved one. Neo returns to the Matrix to save Trinity after they had spent 60 years trapped in a new world of lies. Trinity is alive. And there's another question. Why did they keep her alive? I can't answer that. But if there is a chance I can free her, I have to try. This emotional theme has only been read about or seen in the comics and deleted scenes from the movies. But do you agree? Could you abandon your family and friends? Or would you try to rescue them? Would you do anything to be with them again? Even betraying your comrades and making deals with the devil? The place where you live is not the place you once dreamed of. Are you sick of your hot and filthy Zion apartment? Then we have the solution for you. Bad credit or criminal history? We can wipe your slate clean and give you a fresh start. We at Megacity Realty can find you the most luxurious real estate where you can spend hours playing your favorite virtual reality video game, eating the most delicious meals and having an endless supply of blue medications. What are the blue pills for? No need to worry because you will be bathing in the most phenomenal bathtub with the best view of the city and only minutes away from the best cafeteria in the city. Why wait? Contact one of our agents and be reconnected to the home of your dreams. Mega City Realty. Offer valid while the truce lasts. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.